Here we are, we're at the top of the blue line in Saalbeck and I figured that today would be a really good day to talk you guys through how to do a wall ride because there's a perfect example on this trail which has been newly built for this season. We're gonna go down to it, ride it and I'll talk you through it and then we're gonna go on to the pro line which is on the other side of the hill for a more advanced one. Let's go and check it out. We're on the blue trail here in Saalbach. We've come down a really flowy section. You pick up some good momentum and all of a sudden you're faced with this wall ride right here. It's a really nice feature and this is a great one to actually build confidence on. You've got a couple of different options. You could just roll all the way around the inside. It's quite flat, it's easy, or you could treat this like a massive berm. It's not too banked over, it's not too steep. You're sitting at about a 45 degree pitch and you can just go all the way up here as option one all the way around, just leaning the bike into it in that neutral body position, arms bent, your butt right over the back of the bike. The other option that you could do is that you could actually come on this lower edge, you could preload the bike, that's gonna push you up onto the wall itself, and then you're gonna get really, really high, and you want to keep going, you want to use that speed to carry you around the wall. As soon as you start to feel that you're slowing down, that's when you're gonna turn off the wall, you're gonna start looking to the next section of trail, off the brakes, let the bike roll, and you're gonna carry some really, really good momentum. So this is example number one. We're gonna move on to the pro line, which has got a steeper face, and one that you can actually drop out of too. So let's go and check that out. We're on the pro line now, and this is a more challenging wall ride. Coming into it, it looks quite nicely banked, similar to the one on the blue line, it's quite mellow, but as you go further around, it actually gets steeper and steeper till you're basically at 90 degrees. And you can actually drop off this one as well, get a little turn down, pull a little trick, whatever you wanna do, and it feels really, really good. Coming into it, speed is definitely your friend because the more speed you have, the further you're gonna go along it. As soon as you start to feel that you're slowing down, that you're losing momentum, you want to start turning down off the wall because you don't want to actually get to a point where you don't have enough speed, then the bike slides away underneath from you. So body position, you want to be in that attack position where your elbows are bent, your butt is over the rear. You're pretty much 50-50 over the bike. You're leaning into that wall, turning, turning, turning. And then when you get to the end of this one, well, there's the option to drop off it. So you can actually pull the bike round. You want to straighten up midair. You can do a little tweak. You can pull a tabletop, whatever you like and then you want to be looking ahead where you're going, carrying that speed and feeling confident in that attack position, landing softly and then going straight into the next section of the trail. So there we go, that was a tip for a more advanced method. Hope that helped you. Let's do it a couple of times and I'll show you how I do it. There we go then, two very different examples of a wall ride here in Saalbach. We've got the blue line, which is more of an intermediate version, and then the pro line, which is more of an advanced technique. Two other tips I will give you is make sure that if it's a wooden feature, that if it's gonna be wet, you might slip, so just be careful there, and always build up your confidence, start small, and then keep hitting it bigger and bigger until you feel really good on it. If you enjoyed this, then give it a thumb up like, leave your comments of other how-tos that you'd like to see on the channel below, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.